All right, I'm kind of beginning the sanitization process of my new Porsche. Uh, the first thing I did was take off the ski racks. Um, I'm not planning on taking this thing up to Boreal anytime soon. So I'm kind of trying to get off the, uh, get the aftermarket stuff out of the car and, and return it all back to a stock condition. So uh, that includes this um, car phone that was installed probably sometime in the early 90s. So for all you kids out there that didn't get to live through the evolution of the cellular phone, um, before the proliferation of handheld phones, people had car phones, the jet setters. And this is like the uh, Motorola communication interface. This part here was made in America, so that tells you how old it is, because, you know, nothing's made in America anymore. Anyway, this is under the seat. All this wiring, this wiring, and this was the actual little piece that the phone receiver would have sat in. It was screwed on there. I peeled up the carpet to get the wiring out from under the seat. I'll be removing this. There's a little more wiring there. I discovered that this Porsche has a wooden floorboard. So it's kind of like my dad's Model A, his 1930. It's kind of cool. We have something in common. I, um, I thought this carpet was replaced because it's really blue and I would have expected it to be quite bleached out. But it's also really crispy and uh, it has a lot of the original kind of features built in and the edging. So I kind of think it might be original carpet, just shockingly good condition. So uh, let's see. What's next? Oh, you know what? Everybody likes to show off the engines, but I wanted to show off what's under the trunk here. This is kind of cool. I pulled all the linings out because I'm stripping the wiring. There's also an aftermarket alarm, which presumably is this. You can see these sheet metal screws used to attach it. Um, so I'll be pulling that module and the wiring, and I think this also is aftermarket. That'll come out. You can see the uh, brake master cylinder and booster there. See some of the heater controls behind that panel. Kind of cool. Everything's pretty easy to get to. If you look way up in there, you'll see the back of the instrument cluster. Let me get a light and shine it in there. Way up in there is the back of the speedometer. That's how you, I guess, get to it and change the bulbs. What else have we got here? An air pump for a horn of some sort, and then this cool little, I don't know, treasure chest down here. I'll figure out what's under here. Open that up and uh, looks like a blower motor for the AC maybe, yeah. Expansion valve for the air conditioner. There's the steering shaft coming through right in the middle to the steering rack. And then this horn, which I'm pretty sure doesn't belong there. I'll double check that. Tool bag. We got this cool Porsche parts bag here. I'm kind of opening it up together with you. It looks like uh, a crank handle probably for the sunroof and bags for whatever reason. Here's the original tool roll. Let's see what's inside of this puppy here. I haven't even opened this yet so this is uh we're experiencing this together. I guess this is what a uh, Porsche tool bag looks like. Hey you know what? It might be my air conditioner belt. That'd be cool. That looks brand new. Ooh, that's a Porsche belt. Yeah, I bet you this is the uh, fan belt. So we've got some pliers, some wrenches. This looks like a shock adjuster for a motorcycle. Some of this stuff's probably not correct. That's for spark plugs. Yeah, so uh, I guess if you needed to uh, do any work on your car, presumably, I'm not sure if this is original stuff or if somebody just cobbled this together. This is a German pair of pliers. And uh, it says uh, Selected Special Steel, West Germany. Okay, so yeah, maybe they are original. Kind of cool. Anyway, what else we got down here? Battery. Somebody at some point, I assume, has done some corrosion protection here by painting a little bit of black. It's kind of sloppy. Down there, ooh, you know what else? This is exciting. And down there is where you keep the rat's nest. You can see all that insulation material there. Obviously it's been sitting for a while in a 
a rat made a home in here, so I'll have to clean that out too. A little bit of rust by the battery, but overall this is pretty nice in here, so and that's it. Not too glamorous, but uh, hey, now you know what's under the hood of a 1980 Porsche 911 SC. Thanks for watching.